Remember, a Hallmark card when you care enough to send the very best. Tonight, from Hollywood, the makers of Hallmark cards bring you a true story from the life of Damon Runyon, starring Gene Fowler and Van Heflin on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. And here's our distinguished host, Mr. Lionel Barrymore. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Tonight, a true story from the life of Damon Runyon, reporter, columnist, and one of the greatest short story writers of modern times. And here to tell it, one of Damon Runyon's friends, the author and journalist and reporter, Gene Fowler. And to star in the role of Damon Runyon, Van Heflin. Alfred Damon Runyon was born in 1880 in Manhattan, Kansas. His father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather were editors and publishers of newspapers. When he was 12, the family moved to Pueblo, Colorado. Runyon was a shy, sensitive boy, and his ambition was to be a newspaper man. One summer, after he'd become a reporter on the Denver Post, he went to nearby El Dorado Springs on an assignment. And it was there that Damon Runyon met Gene Fowler. I was 13 at the time and plenty impressed. And maybe Runyon was impressed, too, because some years later... After he'd gone east and made his mark, he sent for me and gave me my start on the New York American. Damon Runyon and I were friends for 43 years. But I'm not sure I ever really knew him. It seems to me only his readers knew him. The people who bought his short stories by the millions and paid countless dollars to see the motion pictures that were made of them. But for all his shyness, for all his sensitivity and vanity, the demon was a man with a heart. Well, we used to call him the demon... Because in his dignified manner, he was anything but. Damon was a man who talked very little, but listened a great deal. And what he heard, he wrote. And what he wrote bore such interesting titles as Guys and Dolls, Blue Plate Special, The Old Doll's House, Little Miss Marker. Remember Shirley Temple in that one? And many, many others. And the locale of these stories? Well, it was always the same. Broadway. Damon Runyon's Broadway that remarkable stretch of pavement between Columbus Circle and Times Square. And Damon Runyon wrote about it and made it come alive. But the story I want to tell you tonight wasn't written by Runyon. It's a story that actually happened to him and one that I think tells more about the demon than any of us who knew him could tell. It began in Hollywood at a party. And to use a cliche, Damon was at the pinnacle of his career. Everybody's happy about a new Runyon picture. They've just finished. That's Damon Runyon over there. Blonde man, rimless glasses, medium build. Always dressed like that. Dapper. Loved clothes. I think he must have owned a hundred suits, forty top coats. When do you think you'll be going back to New York, Damon? Oh, pretty soon, I guess. <laughs> Can't stay away from Broadway very long, can you? Oh, I don't know. You can get used to anything if you try. Are you used to California? <laughs> well, I, I've been working on it very hard. <laughs> well, we like you here, Damon. Wish we could get you to stay here all the time. We like you as much as those literary critics in England who say you're as important to American literature as Thackeray and Dickens out of theirs. <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> I read that. Well, now, don't laugh at all. 